It almost seems as though the further you venture below the surface of the ocean, the stranger the creatures become. Whether it's creepy fish who scavenge off the living, to creatures that only live in the shadows, here are 16 creepiest things only found at the bottom of the sea. Hey guys, this is American Eye, bringing you another great video. But first, thanks Scribble Guy for leaving us this comment. Glad to hear people from the Southern Hemisphere are tuning in. Maybe you've seen some of these creepy underwater things? Let us know which thing you think looks the creepiest in the comments section, and maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Number 16. Goblin Shark The Goblin Shark is a deep sea shark which is notable for its cringeworthy appearance. It sometimes gets called a living fossil because of its lineage that can be traced back about 125 million years ago. This shark has pink skin and easy to identify from its long snout and sharp nail-like teeth. It's found lurking the oceans at depths greater than 330 feet. The goblin shark has jaws that extend quite drastically when it's feasting on things like dragonfish, rat tails, crustaceans, just to name a few. Adult sharks measure about 10 to 13 feet long. The largest recorded one, however, was estimated to measure about 20 feet. Luckily, these don't pose any threat to humans due to the fact that they're only found at great depths. A few have been put in aquariums, but they generally don't last too long in captivity. Number 15. Anglerfish Yes, it's true, there are plenty of fish left in the sea, just hopefully they don't look like this. Out of all the creepiest ocean photos, there is still nothing as creepy as the anglerfish. Also known as the Black Sea Devil, it's the most hideous, vile, diabolical creature in existence. With their goblin-like face and freakish nail-like teeth, this is the last creature you'd ever want to run into on the beach. There's over 200 species of anglerfish and not a single one of them is easy on the eyes. They all have a thing known as a lure, which is a piece of flesh that dangles from their head and some of them even glow. This is made to attract prey in the dark underwater abyss we call the ocean. If that's not creepy enough, the male literally latches on to the female anglerfish for the rest of its life and feeds on the nutrients. Number 14. Sulfuric Vents The bottom of the ocean is probably the closest to hell a living organism can get to. As you can tell, this almost looks like the microscopic version of a goblin shark. This vent here spits out boiling hot sulfuric acid, and that's where this thing lives. You would literally turn into a skeleton in a matter of seconds if you were exposed to this. Can you believe there's actually tiny organisms that actually live in those vents? They're known as hydrothermal worms, and you might get nightmares if you use a microscope on one of these. Number 13. The Stargazer With eyes like that sticking out of the water, this is something you really don't want to walk into on the beach. These fish bury themselves into the sand and jump up to capture prey when it swims by. The sand camouflages them and makes unsuspecting fish their lunch. In case you didn't think that was enough, this thing can deliver a lethal electric shock. Number 12. Blue Ringed Octopus even though it might sort of look pretty cool and not quite as intimidating as the other ones, the blue ringed octopus is not something you want to mess with. This deep sea creature is extremely poisonous and there is no cure if you get stung. It contains the same deadly poison that puffer fish do known as tetrodotoxin. There is no cure for this, so once you're stung, game over. It can be noticed with its blue and black rings. It can hunt small prey such as crabs, hermit crabs, shrimp, etc. The sharp beak can also pierce through hard crab shell. Number 11. Fangtooth What's scarier than a snaggletooth? How about a fangtooth? Why does everything at the bottom of the ocean have to be either extremely deadly or look like it belongs in the pits of hell? It doesn't get its name for nothing either. The teeth are proportionally the largest of any fish in the ocean. Don't always judge a book by its cover though. Although these guys look fierce and dangerous, they're completely harmless to humans. These are found 16,000 feet below water, but are more commonly spotted around 700 feet. Not that you want to try to find it or anything. Number 10. Barrel Eye Fish The only spooky thing about this fish is that its head is transparent, allowing you to see its brain. That's not that creepy though, right? This intriguing fish has barrel-shaped tubular eyes that are extremely sensitive to light. That's why it prefers to live at the bottom of the ocean. The eyes are generally directed upward, so instead of looking forward, it's looking towards the top of the ocean, but can also be detected forts. But if it needs to, they can direct their eyes forts. Their eyes, however, are actually quite powerful for a fish. If you caught one of these while fishing, you'd probably throw it back in the water right away. 
Number 9. The Red Lip Batfish This strange looking fish looks like it just put on some lipstick and is waiting for you to give it a big kiss. Don't be so easily seduced. This thing could certainly be an alien waiting for a human to abduct and put into their spaceship. This is another bottom dwelling ocean creature who can seemingly walk on the seafloor with its four feet. Are there really any other fish out there that can do that? These are found off the coast of the Galapagos Islands, and you have to wonder, maybe this helped Charles Darwin's theory that ocean animals were able to grow legs, walk, and survive on land, and then eventually evolve into humans. Could this be the missing link? Number 8. Giant Isopods Although these giant isopods do resemble bugs or cockroaches, which are already pretty creepy, they're actually extremely large crustaceans who can grow about two and a half feet in length. Besides haunting your nightmares, these are found at the bottom of the ocean and are rather harmless. They're mostly scavengers who eat fish who already died from natural causes. Others believe that they do eat animals like sponges from time to time. One giant isopod in Japan went five years without one bite of food. Incredible, but they definitely do enjoy a large meal once they do eat. These bottom dwellers live about 7,000 feet deep, possibly even deeper, and enjoy the muddy seafloor as a shelter. Scientists aren't exactly sure why these things get so large, but it's believed that the huge size and shells have helped them survive the enormous amount of pressure found at the bottom of the ocean. Would anyone be willing to eat this thing for lunch? Number 7. Underwater Crop Circles you might be familiar with the crop circles on land, on places like farms, etc. But could there be a species of alien down here underwater creating them as well? What's quite strange about this photo, besides the middle part, is that it displays perfect symmetry and is quite rare in nature. Scientists have explained it as being a part of the pufferfish mating behavior. The circumference measures 6 feet wide and is found near the Japanese island of Amami Oshima. Number 6. Brinicle Concentrated salt water escapes from frozen water above the ocean surface and basically forms a brinicle. It's kind of like a salt icicle. It's actually seen from the top of the sea, but it gets a little bit more spooky if you track it all the way down to the bottom. It seeps into the depths of the water below and can actually be deadly to a fish or sea animals that are stuck on the bottom of the floor. This remarkable photo captures this complex phenomena. Number 5. The Pacific Octopus this crazy creature might also be found on your plate as calamari or something, but typically, its natural environment is at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. The top of the ocean might be run by sharks, but this creature rules the depths below. If these two had to battle it out, who do you think would win? The female octopus can weigh about 150 pounds. Should be an easy meal for a shark, right? The truth is, though, the giant octopus would win. Hopefully you didn't have money on this one. Workers of the Seattle Aquarium began to notice that their dogfish, or small breed of sharks, were being ripped to shreds. Giant Pacifics are carnivores and can eat flesh with their sharp beaks. These are normally hidden. They prefer to hunt at night and use their excellent vision to help them catch their food. Number 4. The Blobfish Also known as the world's ugliest animal, the blobfish doesn't take its blob form until it's out of the water. In fact, it somewhat looks like a normal fish until you take it out of the ocean. With a lack of muscle and bones, it's primarily a gelatinous organism with a body that's primarily made of water. Its lack of muscle, however, isn't a huge disadvantage, and it primarily eats edible flakes of floating sea matter. This is also known as marine snow and even small crustaceans. Blobfish are found off the coast of Australia and New Zealand deep below the sea. Very little is known about these alien-like creatures, except that the fact that they might be endangered due to commercial fishing. Number 3. Crocodile Ice Fish When your blood is as cold as ice, you might have see-through blood like this crocodile ice fish. It is primarily found around Antarctica and around the southern tip of South America. They're believed to be ambush predators and can survive long periods of time between eating. They can consume up to 50% their own body weight. Imagine trying to do that on your own. The fish have also made fairly drastic adaptations to the cold water, and their blood contains no hemoglobin. Number 2. North America Stonehenge In Lake Michigan, a formation of stone similar to Stonehenge in the United Kingdom was found not too far away off the coast of Michigan. Two treasure hunters were looking for shipwrecks when they found something they wouldn't believe with their sonar. They started to see stones line up and took photos of the images that came to their screen. What would something like this be doing here in North America? It appeared to be artificially set stones underwater, and they decided to go scuba diving to find out exactly what it was. It appeared that some stones had been carved to look like a prehistoric mastodon from granite. Last time this lake bed was dry, about 12,000 years ago. So it definitely makes you wonder what else could be under the Great Lakes. And number one, 
Sea spiders. You guys already probably thought spiders were creepy. Well, maybe you haven't seen a sea spider from the bottom of the ocean. It gets pretty disturbing, and if you're an arachnophobe, you may want to look in the opposite direction. There are over 1,300 types of sea spiders, and each one is probably better off being swatted with a newspaper. They technically aren't spiders at all, or even arachnids. They're in the same family as things such as horseshoe crabs, but weird nonetheless. They're typically camouflaged with rocks, so you can't see them coming. Although they're relatively small in comparison to others on this list, they're known to grow about 30 centimeters in size. It also viciously eats its victims alive. So stay away from these next time you go scuba diving.